Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. I'm Goosexy and we are here with more Kerbal Space Program Sandbox Mode and we are launching a Mega Rover this episode. It's looking pretty promising. I did not really spend a lot of time designing the lower half. I spent way too much time designing the upper half, obviously the payload, which is the most important. I've never really been good at ship building. Well, I should say, uh, uh, lifter building, or whatever you'd like to call that, the main launch vehicle. I usually have one main design, but for this, we needed something a little bit special. Uh, if you guys watched some of my older videos, I ended up launching a rover... The, the, the largest rover prior to this is 80 tons. This one is between 150 and 170 with the fuel tanks full, obviously. So th there's a lot more of this we will cover as I get closer to Minmus, because that's where this guy will be going. We are going to start really going into colonizing Minmus, at least. Uh, I'm thinking about building a few different styles of bases and seeing what works and what kind of doesn't work, because I, I, I just haven't really delved too deep into the base building. I, I've done a little bit of everything in this game, but um, anyways, I will get more into that as we get into orbit. This is obviously going to take us a very, very long, long time to get into orbit, but uh, this is tested and it does in fact work, so I will see you once we are more on our way towards Minmus. And we are underway on our way to Minmus. Getting into orbit was not that hard, but it did take quite some time. Uh, I kind of gotten everything set up. Now, I expected the frame rate to actually increase, and it did there for, like, a very short while. Now that we are actually in fact orbit, the frame rate did drop back down a little bit. Now, I should just kind of show you guys right now. This thing is at 250 tons, but obviously there is a lot of fuel and other stuff on here, so that isn't really a true number as far as the weight of the payload and um, there was something else oh yeah the the part count obviously we're near 600 parts still which uh, pretty much once we get rid of this portion right here it should drop down a little bit and uh, our lander portion as well there's there's definitely a, a good amount of parts there maybe a good 50 parts or so and that that should free up some uh, some room and we get a little bit better frame rate hopefully but yeah so anyways it's, it's been a little while since I made a video I mean I, I was talking about some other stuff that happened in the last video and you know I've gotten past most of that and it's just more of been just trying to get back on the horse again and you know failing miserably uh, I'm going to try to see if I can do some more I, I really don't know I don't want to make promises I don't want to tell you guys anything uh, and then just at the last minute not produce but um, you know definitely more big builds I'm not really sure as to all the stuff I want to do uh, I was looking more into like base building obviously and uh, probably doing something along the lines of Minmus bases and stuff like that like Herbin base kind of stuff and uh, you know I got some new ideas as far as, far as like bases and trying to build different things um, the one thing I do gotta say is I wish there was more containers for, um, like, like, hitchhiker containers or storage containers and stuff like that for the Kerbals because it is, there just isn't enough for me in this game as far as, uh, parts. And, you know, it, the new parts that just recently got added, um, I'm gonna try to incorporate that stuff in and I really haven't messed around with any of it so I you know a lot of these features are still new to me and um, you know surprisingly and you know I, I still haven't really grasped every single portion of of all the parts and and what their functions are and this thing is not very stable uh, there is a little bit of a weight problem see the issue with building rovers like this is that you manually have to find the center of mass where you can and just pretty much place your part or well I should say your landing stage kind of right there and kind of build your entire craft around where you kind of guess the center of mass to be which 
is troublesome when it isn't exactly 100% on the spot. So hopefully we can get there and there really isn't much issue. I do think that we don't have enough fuel to get all the way um, to the surface, but I think I will be able to finagle something in order to get us down there. But, you know, hopefully it shouldn't be too much. And yes, our landing stage is the four skipper engines here. They, it really works out really well, and you do actually get a lot of control. I mean, you do burn a lot of fuel, but it does get you right where you want to be. But anyways, I will see you once we get more closer to Minmus and probably find our landing site. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I want to get it kind of in the same can canyon uh, area or lake bed or what you, whatever you want to call it that our other base is located in. And I'm probably going to build like a little community of bases all in that area and um you know we'll, we'll do something kind of fun with all of that but anyways guys i'll see you once we get closer all right guys and we are landing uh wow it, it took us some time to get there uh there was a lot of fuel used and i'm still holding on to this main stage here and i'm going to probably hold on to it for a little bit longer it is actually helping out a lot more than the landing stage at least the main landing stage that I plan on using um, the main issue is is that these guys burn up a lot of fuel so I plan on probably holding on to this until we get pretty close to the surface and I'm not gonna say uh, too close but I, I'm not a hundred percent certain as far as when I'm gonna feel comfortable with jettisoning this uh, stage but it's gonna take us a little while to land and uh, you know I'm probably gonna speed this up I, I don't want to do too many cuts during the episodes um, I'm kind of trying to change my format a little bit I know that a lot of people don't like the sped up portions where they just kind of skip over it so I'm probably only gonna try to start using that stuff like the uh, worst case or you know um, just you know, whenever I feel that I should use it, at least. Um, you know, the one thing I do pride myself in is, like, actually getting, building these things and getting them there without using any mods or any kind of, you know, real, anything as far as um, ed game editing stuff in any kind of way. I, I really don't care for using any of that kind of stuff. I, I really enjoy playing the vanilla game. The only thing I don't like, and you guys can notice, that the frame rate... It, that's just the only thing. I wish there wasn't such a part cap, at least uh, for right now. But I'm pretty sure, you know, as time goes on, eventually you'll be able to build a thousand part ship without having any kind of issues. But, um, you know, one can only hope. So, anyways, I'm going to speed up most of this and I'll see you guys on the surface where we can start off kind of talking about this massive, massive rover. Alright guys, and we are getting close, so close to touchdown, get the gear down, alright, come on, there we go, gears down, 
Now, a lot of this stuff did actually get fixed compared to my last rover, if, rovers, if you guys can remember, where I had some issues with the gears not actually touching the ground, and there was just a whole plethora of things that really didn't work out as I expected them to, but I think it has been sorted, but, you know, once again, new rover, there will definitely be some new problems, and I really hope we don't damage anything on the way down. A wheel or something like that is always kind of an okay thing. It, it is a sacrifice, something that can be repaired. I If if an actual part falls off the vehicle, then I will not be very happy. But, you know, what can you do? What can you do? All right, wow, we've been doing this on only two engines. I actually did not know that these engines were not actually attached. Oh, whatever, that, that's fine. All right, come on, slow down, slow, slow and steady. All right. That, that's looking really good. I don't care that we have a slight... I just want to make sure we don't bounce. Perfect. That is very beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we will get some fuel transferred out here um, shortly. But, you know, I will cover the vehicle at least for right now. Uh, why aren't these actually touching the ground? Uh, what's going on here? That does not make me a happy person. Ah, uh, whatever. We will turn on brakes, and I will cover the vehicle here. We do have a whole bunch of solar panels, all that other good stuff, and uh, we'll do a slight tour of the vehicle, hopefully. Um, if not, I might do that the next episode, just to kind of show you guys everything. So this would be a landing pad, actually, inside the base. So I am going to probably land and give you guys a good tour of everything. But, uh, you know, there are some ion thrusters on the back of this, which those actually do help with, like, minor hills and stuff like that, and it really does help out with a lot of different things. There is a smaller rover underneath, which, once we unpack everything, I will show you all of that, probably the next episode, so you'll definitely have to, you know, check that out. We'll do a landing, and I'll really cover all of the features and everything else, but, yeah... And, you know, I'll, I'll get this thing kind of set up here. Extend. That, that is just beautiful. I, I can't believe we actually made it. And we have most of our fuel stock as, as well. Um, I did not jettison our landing stage, so that number still is not 100% accurate. But uh, we'll see what we get next episode. So, anyways, guys, um, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah. I will see you next time.